Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another edition of American Picker Man. This is season four, episode ten, and what is possibly the last episode of the season uh, because the weather is starting to change and this Friday it's supposed to be rain mixed with snow, cold on Saturday. Last Friday was rainy, Saturday was a little cool. So got a few things to show you but not much and like I said this could be the last one so uh, hopefully uh, I'll be able to throw together a few uh, amusing little things for you to watch across uh, through the winter, across and through the winter, over the drifting snow. Anyway, I've got a few things to show you, not much, it's just me, my bottle of scotch. Eh, here, let's get started I guess. So, big bottle of scotch, Cuddy Sark, uh, paid $2 for this, looks like this will go for about $30, $35, so pretty good start but unfortunately that's about it as you will see. So I stopped at one of the few yard sales on Saturday and uh, this lady had some old 1970s G.I. Joe stuff. She wanted $30 for it. I didn't bite, unthinkingly. Uh, but I did go home and check and wound up going back and everything was still there, you know, an hour and a half later. So I bought it, got it down to 25 bucks, and here's what we got. We got the, the troubleshooter uh, vehicle here with the troubleshooter unit, which is, in, you know, pretty much intact. A couple little parts missing off the top. There's supposed to be a radar up here or whatever. Uh, but it doesn't work. You know, it takes one D battery and put it in there and it doesn't work. And I can't figure out what the heck's the matter with it. It looks good, but anyway, as is, you know, even with the non-working troubleshooting unit, looking at about 50 to 75 dollars on that. Another uh, GI Joe vehicle from the same place. I think this will probably go for about 25 bucks. And got this Jeep also. I'm not sure how old this is. Might be the same year, but it's uh, it's broken. It's not in great shape, but it was in the lot, so I had to take it. See, uh, broken windshield. Uh, there's some sort of shifter there in the middle that goes to some wires on the bottom. There. So it's supposed to do something, but there's nothing for it to do. So I don't know, maybe 10 to $15 on this. And along with that batch, some assorted other things. I'm just going to show you because I've got to waste some time here. Some ninja shadow bad guy there and hello and some other assorted parts you know just junk really so all that for thirty dollars and probably get about 150 bucks out of it so not too bad for five dollars not ten dollars got this radio shack trc 221 cb 40 channel cb unit handheld uh seems to work okay although i can't get the uh, battery cover off so i'm hoping that there's not some uh, corrosion in there that would be bad acid battery leaks bad Anyway, should go for around $30 if I can prove it's looking all good and swell. For a dollar, picked up these uh, copper-colored uh, opera glasses. Not much value there, maybe 10 Did I show you this before? I don't think I did. It's a Mickey... See, I don't know whose mouth was on there, but now mine has been. Anyway, for 50 cents, uh, old, probably from the 60s, Mickey Mouse uh, bubble blower, 510 maybe, I don't know. Okay, that's it. I've got nothing else, so you guys are going to have to just watch what comes next. I'm not sure if I'm just going to do updates on a few things that sold last week or if I'm going to throw another little fun tidbit in it here just to make it you know, last a little longer, make it more worth your time, a little more entertainment value for you. Anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, updates on a few things that sold last week coming up and uh, some good sales this week, actually, and uh, maybe something else. Enjoy, and we'll see you when we see you. Take care.